Hey everybody, it's Diane from The Paint Factory. It is, um, I think it's Thursday. It is 5.40. I did say um, I was gonna be live at five o'clock and um, the reason why I'm not live at five o'clock is that my husband decided to come home, the dog decided to bark, there were doors slammed and people talking and it really is kind of like working with children and animals don't do it. So I have the house space to myself, except for my dog here, who could bark at any time. So thank you. Um, I have three people here to each of you. Um, and so I wanted to come on at, you know, five, let's call this five o'clock. Um, to talk to you about my kitchen because I have finally done it. I am finished. I never want to do another kitchen again until I move and um, paint my new kitchen cabinets. Not that I'm planning on moving, but so I want to talk to you about um, the cabinets because we all. Well, most of us probably are in the situation where we have builder grade um, oak cabinets. I painted the bottom ones last week, maybe two weeks ago, I, I don't know, um, in weather vane, which is this color here. Um, and if you can see it, it's kind of, it's a really nice color. It's weird though, because sometimes it looks gray, sometimes it looks a browny gray. So depending on your lighting, um, that will impact the hue it gives off. Now, um, I chose that color because I wanted to try and match my, can you see, probably not, my, my granite countertop here, um, which I don't love, but it's here and I have to embrace Brace it with um, all its crime scene spots and everything. So, what I did, it, I've always had a two tone um, color combo in my kitchen. Um, the top ones have always been a lighter color. Um, so, I, I've done that. If you saw my last Facebook page um, post, you know that I've done. Annie Sloan, I've done Pure and Original. This is my Wise Owl paint. Um, I've done it three times. I'm not proud of that, but you know, life, life happens. And so I have evolved, shall we say. Um, I've, I've done the waxing of the cabinets in the kitchen um, space. I don't recommend it. From my personal point of view, I, I wouldn't do that. Um, the reason why I changed from pure and original was because um, I didn't want to do a top coat. I didn't want to do a you know paint and then a top coat. But I also wanted to change colors. I'd um, I'd had like a greeny color in here, and the the green wasn't working. So I need to kind of like step back, embrace my granite, and choose a color that would be. Um, better suited to it and so I, I i a good friend of mine actually introduced me to wise owl and i'm just going to play with my paintbrush here while i talk to you um and so she introduced me and said this is you know a great product and i tried it and i really liked it what i love more is that it's us based Go Go local business dad. and it's two women yay um, and what I like about the company is that um, it's small enough that you still get that individual attention so I can message them and say can you do this can you do that and they'll say sure and and so if you wanted to have a custom color made you message them and they're like of course when you need it so that's what I love about them 
What I particularly loved about them this time is that they have the one hour, um, I don't know whether you can see my can here, it's a one hour enamel paint, it's water based, which I love, I hate using oil based paints, I hate it, I hate it. Um, so this is water based. Um, it feels like an oil-based paint, um, but you have the convenience of washing with water, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, what I like about it is that it dries, kind of cures within an hour, which is kind of unheard of. And I, I was skeptical, I will tell you. Um, and when I did my bottom countertops, no, not countertops, my bottom counter, uh, my bottom cabinets, thank you. It's six, no, it's almost six o'clock now. Um, mine, they were dry within like 30 minutes, which to me was kind of shocking, like. So anyway, they lied. Wise Owl, you lied. It wasn't an hour, it was 30 minutes. So what I like about that is that I could paint it, paint the doors, the cupboards, everything, and literally within a few hours, they were back in position and working. So I love that part. Now, the top parts, as you can see, um, are still, you know, my builder grade, you know, oak, I absolutely hate oak. Um, and so I wanted to go wider and I needed to pick something that would go with weather vane. What I decided um, was to do cashmere, which is one of the new colours. Now, originally I wanted to do, um, this is called mohair, which is one of the new ones. I don't know whether you can see that, if you can see that let me know um and i th i thought it would be too dark so here i have done a comparison this one is the snow owl which is like your pure white this one is the cashmere which is kind of like i want to say it's an off-white it's more kind of like taupey off-white and this one is the mohair um so this one to me would be way too white for me. I mean, it's like pure white. This one is very soft and this one I loved. Now, <clears throat> the mohair, which is a new color, um, is only out in the actual chalk paint. However, again, if you messaged Wise Owl, they would be able to mix that up in the one hour enamel. So any of Wise Owl colors that you see, if you request, they can be made up into the one hour enamel. So there you go. Um, so I don't have many cabinets here. As you can see, I what I did is I um, got my contractor to cut out some of the wood because I absolutely dislike oak. I'm just going to cut it out. And I had them put in bubble glass. So that is one way definitely to kind of like customize your, you know, your builder grade kitchen cabinets. Um, chop pieces off it. Uh, so I <laughs> literally I did um, the first step I did um, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place and I literally have my handy dandy notebook here but in terms of prep what I did was this stuff you need TSP it's a heavy duty cleaner. It's like you put, I think it's 16 ounce per gallon and you just clean those cabinets down. Your regular cleaner will not help. My cabinets here above my microwave and my kitchen 
steam, grease, splatter, my smoke alarm goes off, my dog's bark, my husband says to the kids, it's okay, your mom's just cooking. Disgusting. I had to clean them twice. We are animals. So please, prep work is important. Do TSP or any other heavy duty cleaner, but your regular spray is not gonna work. What I did after that is I did um, just one coat of primer and I'm addicted to primer. The reason why I love the primer, I use the clear one. Um, and for some reason, clear primer is less intimidating to me. I don't know why, it's like a psychological thing. What primer will do is, especially if you have oak, which I think the majority of people do, um, if you put a coat of primer on, it will help um, hide the grain of the oak. So it'll give you a much, much smoother um, finish. You know, and it's gonna give you better adherence. So it, it's a win-win, but um, I love the clear primer. So I did the clear primer. I used this, my little sanding block. This is a 220. Um, and this one, I think is a 320. Easy, you know, and when you talk about like, oh my God, I've got a sand, no, it's just bum, 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 easy. This little nasty piece of stuff will be your best friend it's a tack cloth i've got it upside down and back to front but this will get all the little bits of um residue sand wood whatever off you want a completely nice smooth finish so i think these are like two dollars they're terrible the nasty way was um yeah that's my dog so use one of these um, in terms of brushes, this one I used, it's kind of like, an, I want to say it's a novelty brush, it's the P16, um, and what I use this for is behind, I don't know whether you can see, behind my stove here, gets into all the little areas that, um, you can't get into with a regular brush. So, um, just hold on. Alice, yeah. come on in and get whatever you need to do. I don't need anything. This one, um, this is what happens when you live with family members. They infringe on your videotaping. So this one is, yes, goodbye. <laughs> working with children and dogs. This is my little um, favorite. It's a short shorty. Um, and what this, you, you would think using a bigger paintbrush would be more beneficial to you. Um, I didn't find that to be so on my top cabinets. This one here, let me turn around, is kind of like the perfect size oops to go up and down and see like this is still this is still wet i oh i washed this <laughs> look but i've i actually painted these cabinets this afternoon look they're like they're dry literally this afternoon they're dry oh my god look you believe, I mean, crazy, it's crazy, I tell you. Um, so yeah, this one, um, for the sides of the cabinets, I used this one, which is the Klingon F40. The reason why I use this one is because this was the first one my hand grabbed in the garage. Sometimes that's how I operate. Um, basically, with Klingon, 
there isn't a bad brush. I mean, it's just like, yeah, I'll take that one. Um, so I use that one. <sighs> what else? Okay, I'm gonna get with, mm -mm -mm. I've done the brushes. Um, I've, yeah, I've spoken about any of the colors you can get in the one hour enamel. I literally, let me show you. So I don't have many cabinets. This is when I, um, I overbuy because, so my, let me go further back. Can you see the paint line is here? I have all this, all this left. And part of me is like really excited that boy, you have a lot of paint left. And the, the other part of me is dismayed that boy, you have a lot of paint that you need to use. So that will get used. Um, somewhere I don't I'm not quite sure where so um, what I am going to say to you is well for, for one thing how flipping lovely does it look it really um, I'm glad I didn't choose the mohair because this is east facing so this is a really dark kitchen it doesn't get I mean this is the natural light my other my room here is like look super dark um and so i think a darker color would have really enclosed the kitchen um and yeah i love it i love that it's done i love that it was super easy i love that even though i was painting these this morning they're dry, they're functional, life continues. Um, and what I want to tell you is we're gonna do another giveaway. So I mentioned Twice Owl because we had such a great response last time on my Facebook page, would they wanna do another um, giveaway? And they said, sure. Um, so we're gonna do, we. I'm not doing it, they're doing it. So they want to give you a quart of the one hour enamel, any color that you choose. Um, they want to give you a quart of the primer, whether it be clear or white. Um, and they want to give you a Klingon brush. So it can be anything. I mean, the, I mean, Klingons have gazillion brushes so you can just choose whichever you want so it's this is my like I say if you have cupboards like mine this is one of the new ones and it's just I love the short handle this one is if you have um, places that you can't get to and you need to get to Plus it's very, I mean, come on. This one is just like your good old basic um, brush. I mean, totally abused by me. But you can choose anything. So all you need to do is, um, again, just share this video. Um, it can be on any social media platform that you have, Facebook, um youtube instagram pinterest just let me know um on the thread below this um where you posted it so i can go and see and then we will put you into a, a drawing and i think i'm gonna do this for like two weeks from today which is i, I have no idea um but two weeks from today um but yeah, this is, you know, if you have that, you can do your kitchen cabinet. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not hard, really. It is like super easy. The hardest part, I think, is going over the intimidation factor. 
where like kitchen cabinets are not hard I mean like the hardest part is the prep and that's with everything especially in the kitchen with the grease and the smoke and blah 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 um, prep 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 clean number one you've got to clean you've got to sand it if anything is peeling or chippy um, and like I said I personally like the primer you don't need it my kitchen cabinets like I said have been painted um, and so I'm trying to cover up a multitude of scenes from my last paint job this time I made sure I did everything correctly um, and I I do I'm like oh my gosh they're done everything's clean it's and uh, it's very nice the finish is um, like it has a very nice sheen to it which makes like kind of like cleaning it down just a joy so I would love for you to kind of step out of your comfort zone look at the oak cabinets that you have and say I can do this and if you need any um, advice any tips anything like that message me I, I seriously I will respond to any messages I will try and give you as much information as I can and tips um, and then if you want I can just share them on my Facebook page and um, We'll all look forward to a nice relaxing summer. So I want to thank you. I'm going to give you um, my affiliate link in the comments and I have a discount um, code, which is the paint factory. So you can get 5% discount on, uh, I'm, I'm just reading the comments now, it's Sandy. You don't need to be brave. Come on, we can do this. If I can do this three times, you can do it once. Um, so yeah, if you want to use the discount code um, and get 5% discount on all the products, then please feel free, order away, and I will um, post photographs of my gorgeous kitchen, probably tomorrow now because it's like, gosh, it's 6 o'clock already, and I'm not cooking dinner because I am not going to mess up my kitchen tonight, no my kitchen tonight is going to be clean um, so thank you all for indulging me again and share away please let me know where you shared to because i want to make sure that i get everybody's name into the drawing because i think this is kind of like a, a special drawing and a great giveaway so thank you thank you and i will talk to you later